Good morning. Bless you, brother. Lord, God, do help me. Bless you, Lord. I like to challenge their minds a little bit. I don't preach along the same lines everybody else does. And it's all I right. Don't mean to upset Thank anybody. You, Lord, I like the Bible. I like what it says. I don't preach after other people. And I try to follow where he'll lead me. So if I cross your mind, forgive me. I have been wandering in my mind. You look at God in the Old Testament and he, there's a lot of cruelty in there. Those people were warriors and they did a lot of very sinful things. And they even write about God as if he's agreeing with them. But you get over in the New Testament and God's all love and grace and kindness. It's just like a different God. When you read about it. And I look at why that's so and those people in the Old Testament weren't born again. They, the Holy Ghost came down upon them and stayed with them, but they still did very sinful things. They would, they would kill a lot of people. Samson took the job on the ass and killed a whole lot of people. David did some terrible things. And the Holy Ghost was up on him from the time he was ordained to be king. Yes, sir. He still did some terrible things. Those people weren't born again, but there came Jesus and he brought grace, which is love and Amen. gentleness and kindness and Amen. 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 Completely different. And the Bible says Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Uh -huh. And if you say, well, that was Jesus. Well, I'm telling you, God didn't change either. No, no, no. Jesus said, if you saw me, you saw the Father. Amen. Amen. We know that God is love, and whoever is born of God is born of love. For God is love. Yes, sir. Amen. And God didn't change. Didn't he change his mind? I know he did sometimes. He repented once. Yes, he did. He ever made something man. that he intended to do. He repented to that and didn't do it. If I didn't think God would change his mind, why do I get on my knees and pray? Amen. Because so you can certainly get him on your side if you'll be good to him, he'll be good to you. But if you ignore him, you'll get ignored. That's the truth. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. I love God. Yeah. I love grace. Bless I him, love Lord. gentleness. Yeah, Lord. I love kindness. I love the Holy Ghost. <coughs> Jesus said, My Father and I will come up and make our abode in you. Bible says, Know you not that your body is the temple of God? He dwells in us. He never leaves us. In our trouble, He's right there. No wonder He hears every prayer we pray and every word we say because He's right there. I'll never leave you Amen. nor forsake you. He's with us every day. Yes, He is. I need you to pray me. I love the Holy Ghost. Lord, lift Him up, dear God. And He dwells in me, too. Been in there since I was in my twenties. And I know that my body is old. And I can't preach like I used to. You still sound good. But I still believe the same thing. I believe that if I pray God hears me, Jesus said, I know you hear me always. Well, I know he hears me always too. And every 
everybody else to pray. Sometimes I'll say, I just shouldn't have a prayer for my little child as a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Well, God hears them too. God loves his people and he loved them so good he sent an old man named John. John came preaching. I guess he was younger than I am. His job was to make ready of people prepared for the coming of the Lord. Amen. 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 So here he comes preaching, and he must have had a powerful voice because they came from all the region around about Jordan and were baptized of him. I often wondered, where did he get back? Yeah. That was a prophecy. I know it came from God because it told of the death, burial, and resurrection of right. Jesus Christ. It was a prophecy. Jesus said, for this it behooves us to fulfill all righteousness. Amen. Well, just like this. This Amen. means like this. Jesus fulfilled all righteousness when he died and when he rose. Fulfilled it all. I don't need to fulfill it. Because he said this just for us to fulfill. He didn't say that just for You know that righteousness is a good loving relationship with God. Amen. That's what that word means. Yep. And he fulfilled all our relationships. Amen, Brother Benny. He needed a little help like we do. Asked for it. Said, when I go away, I'll send the Father. I'll call, ask the Father, and he'll send you another, another comforter. Uh -huh. yes, it is, brother. He'll guide you in the way of all truth. In all righteousness. Amen. Well, I'd like to be sitting there and hear John preaching. Yeah. All those people. Everybody down to Jordan. All that region heard, they must have gone home and told, come and see a man. Well, they came down. We know that some of those apostles were there. Here comes Jesus. Preaching the same thing John preached, but John saw him coming. Yes, sir. He cried. Behold the Lamb of God. <laughs> Introduced him. The Bible the called Lord the gospel a trumpet. And they went before and came blowing the trumpet. Here yeah. comes John blowing the trumpet. The Lord comes to your make way. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's past straight. Oh, the way can go around you and stand back, people. The Lord's coming through. <laughs> well, I want you to know He's still coming through here yes, today. He and the trumpet is still being sounded. Oh, now, my brother said, Why do you raise your voice? I said, I love you that way. That's the way I heard it. That's the way I was called. sound that I heard when I was young.
that are troubled and are heavy laden. I'll give you rest. Yes, sir. Somebody said to you, soul, I will explore to that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll tell you the other side that he's 
Savior and the believer. He lets me know every night that I'm His. Yeah. When He comes by, every morning when I get up, He lets me know. Bless the Lord. Love you, child. Everybody. When I get in trouble and cry out, He lets me know I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. No. I know sometimes He feels like He goes in the back room and shuts the door, but He's still there. As soon as you begin to call, you know, he lets you know, I'm right here. Sing a song, brother, and I don't want to take it. Brother, I love you, old man. This is good. So I'm 87. I'm headed home, children. Got me a home. Just passing to this world. But I'm going somewhere, and I tell them if I didn't know where I was going, I'd be lost. That's right. And I know which uh, way the church is to sleep. didn't know that, then something's wrong. The Holy Ghost leads, I know where I'm headed. Yes, sir. Jesus said, I'm going to the Father. That's where I'm going to. I'm going to my Father. I'm grateful to my daddy in this world. Yeah, me too. Had a good dad. Had a good mother. Yeah. But I've got a new father. Yeah, buddy. I've got a new mother. Yeah, mother's right. Whoever does the will of God yeah. is my mother and my brother. church. We love having you, brother. You love one another, and you can uh, tell it. You can feel it in here. Amen. The Lord walks to this house, uh -huh. up and down this aisle, back and forth among us. Children of God and the lovely people. Amen. Here. Amen, brother. 